In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your hosting a domain to GitHub, and I'll show you here exactly what you need to do step by step. So first, go to github.com, and then find your website or your GitHub page you want to connect your domain to. So mine is this one here. Now this is just for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings, and we need to go ahead and find pages. So under code and automation, go to pages. Now I have a very simple website and you can see it's currently live and we are using the GitHub subdomain. So if you click on that, here is my website. It is again, a very simple static page website. Now what we're gonna do on the GitHub pages section is scroll down to custom domain. And what we can do here is enter in our domain on Hostinger. So go to Hostinger and log in. Then you wanna go to the back end of your website and then locate your domain. So I'm gonna to go to domain portfolio and we'll find the domain we're going to connect, which in my case is gonna be knowledgebasedvideo.com. So let's click on manage. And what I'll do is I'll just actually copy the domain and we can then go to the custom domain box, type in www. and then paste in my domain and click save. What that will do now is it will start to scan for DNS records. So you can see DNS check in progress. Now we need to add some DNS records and to find those, you wanna click learn more about configuring custom domains. Once you've done that, you'll be on this page and you can scroll down to managing a custom domain for your GitHub pages site. Click on that. Now, once we're here, we need to scroll down to the point where we can see these A records. We need to add first four A records and then one C name record. Very, very simple stuff. So we'll copy the first A record. You then go to your domain. You wanna head over to DNS slash name servers, scroll down to manage DNS records. And first scroll down here and look if you've got an A record. So where it says type, you need to scroll down and see if you've got any existing A records. If you have, click delete on it. I haven't, so we're good to go. So we'll go manage DNS records. We'll add an A record. The name we'll leave at, and we'll point this to the first a record. So we'll paste in the record from GitHub. We'll then click add record and that will add that one. Now we'll do the same thing for these other three records. So we'll copy this, we'll paste it in, we'll add record. It might tell you that you're adding an additional A record, but since they're all from GitHub, that's fine. At the end of this, we'll end up with four. So we'll copy the third one, paste it in, confirm. And we'll also copy this fourth one here. Okay, so now we've done that, we'll now have four A records. Now we need to add one C name record. So if you go back to this page, this GitHub Docs page, scroll down even more, and it's gonna talk more in a second about configuring an Apex domain. And we're looking here for the C name instructions. Now what we need to do is essentially create a C name record, and you need to forward it to your username.github.io. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to GitHub and you need to know your username for this. My username is knowledgebaseyt. So we're gonna go ahead and remember my username. We'll go to Hostinger and we need to add one CNAME record. So go type, go CNAME. For the name you can leave at or you can change it to www. For the target though, you wanna type in your GitHub username. So mine is knowledgebaseyt, then type dot GitHub dot io once you've done that you've entered in your username followed by dot github dot io click add record and that will then add it now if you go back to github pages you might need to just refresh you'll see now that your site should be alive if you go to custom domain the dns checks will be successful and what we can do is we can check our domain so click on this and it should then be connected so here you can see it's connected just wait a couple of hours for your ssl certificate to be generated if it doesn't and you've still got some issues in a couple of hours then go back to this page here and enforce https you'll be able to click on this once the dns has been propagated but that's all you need to do to connect your hosting a domain to github